hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video this is the first uh, part of the entire video series where we are going to model a DC motor in modern MATLAB simulating and we'll manually introduce some kinds of fault and then we'll extract the faults into the Python environment to do the machine learning on that so in this part we are going to write the physics based equations for the DC motor so the schematic of this uh, entire series is going to be like this first we are going to create the simulating model of the DC motor then we will have to give it some input like uh, the voltage or the output torque the load and the output torque then we will introduce some faults manually into this uh, into this DC motor model that we created and we will obtain the sensor data we will have two sensors in this case one is a current sensor and one is the velocity sensor and that sensor data we will export as a CSV file to our Python environment where we can do machine learning data analysis and train machine learning model to do the fault diagnosis uh, coming to here this is how the model of the DC motor looks like so in the model of the DC motor we have the UA which is our input voltage RE is the electrical resistance L is the electrical inductance K is the DC motor constant which will convert our current into torque and our angular velocity into voltage j is the inertia of the rotor rm is the mechanical resistance or also known as damping this is the table which gives a variable and their meaning the cells marked in red are our input to the dc motor which are the input voltage and the external torque on the rotor DC, UA and DC and the cells marked in green are the sensor measurement that will be our output for the machine learning task and we will output this from the machine uh, from the simulating model as a CSV file and this is how the sensors are attached there is a current sensor or an emitter and a angular velocity sensor or a rotometer so DC motor is a mechatronic system so here is the electrical part and here is the mechanical part first we'll try to write equation for the electrical part coming to the electrical part we have an input voltage there is a current going on I there is electrical resistance inductance and the DC motor so uh, we'll, we'll, try, we'll write the Kirchhoff's law in this case and before that we'll write individual voltage drops for the resistance u re represents the voltage drop across the resistor which is re into y the voltage drop across the uh, inductor is 1 by l into di by dt and the voltage drop across k or the back emf is uh, k into omega where k is the dc motor constant the uh, values indicated in red color are the parameters of the dc motor which we will have to set before and according to Kirchhoff's law, we can write uh, UA, which is our input, minus URE, the voltage drop across resistance, minus voltage drop across the inductance, UL, minus the back EMF. And finally, if we put back the values of the each, uh, each voltage drop, then we'll get this equation. So this is done. This is done. Like this is our first equation. But in order to make it easier to model in simulating, we'll write, we'll rearrange our equation. And we'll rearrange our equation in this format. In the left hand side, we'll have the differential term, and all the other terms will be in the right hand side. This will be our equation one. The main purpose of doing this is only to facilitate the model, the drawing of the model in simulating. Next, going to the mechanical part. In the mechanical part, we'll apply Newton's second law. And before that, we'll write individual torque. The inertia torque. Or the, the or the torque introduced by the j is given as t is j and it uh, will be equal to inertia the moment of inertia j into the angular acceleration or d omega by dt where omega is the angular speed then the torque introduced by the damping 
TRM will be RM into omega and TK which is the torque given by the DC motor which will be dependent on the current that is running inside the electrical circuit and it will be K into I. Finally according to Newton's law we can write TK which will be the input to the DC motor minus all the other uh, other torque they are trying to resist it like damping torque the inertial torque and the load torque which will have to surpass in order to make the rotor rotate and then this can be if we put back the values we got before this will be like this and we'll do the same thing we'll put the differential term at the left hand side and all other terms in the right hand side by doing that we'll get this equation d, d um, omega by dt will do 1 by j into this thing this will be our second equations these two equations we'll use in the next video to make the simulating model of the entire DC motor